What's up? This is Casey. Whoa! Whoa! We weren't supposed to see that. Not till Tuesday. Tuesday you can see that. Sunday bonus video, I'm going to be putting up all of the driving footage that I have of the 1951 Chevy that I am building here on YouTube for under $3,500. Whenever we do driving footages in my normal weekly episodes, I usually have 10 to 15 minutes of driving footage, and we cut it down to, you know, a minute or two, just so that it's not a boring, long-winded video. It's just kind of the good parts, I guess you would say, but people ask to see that. I kind of like watching it as well. I'd really like to watch it a year from now when I can go back and I don't even own this car anymore, somebody else has it. A year from now I can look and go, oh, that's the whole, you know, 10 minute first drive. So this video, I'm gonna put all of that footage together. It's gonna be kinda edited, kinda unedited. It'll probably be long, but it's gonna be all of the firsts of the 51. First drive, first car wash, first burnout, all that fun stuff I'm gonna put on here. So hope you guys like it. Let's get to the footage. I put a lot of shit in there, maybe blow something up. See what happens. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sweet. And the fun part. <laughs> okay, where's my mic? Mike, Mike. Okay. Woo. All right. Mic's on. Woo, it is so cold. It is upsettingly cold. Where's my glasses? Oh, I lost my glasses too. Even worse. We're in shambles. All right, let's see what happens. Okay. Ow, ow. My, <laughs> my chair's adjusted all the way up. Why is my chair all the way up? Sink, baby. Oh, okay, well the lumbar isn't working in my chair. Mike is bouncing around like I'm a newbie because I am. All right, let's see what happens. Yeah, we actually have brakes enough to stop it. Yeah. Super sketchy. All right, fuck it. I'm too excited. I need to take it for a drive. I'm gonna get a bungee cord for this. Do I have a bungee cord? Me saying dumb shit like this is probably why I should have a mic on all the time. Closer to the 50 than I needed to be. For damn sure. Oh, here, here, here. Bungee cord to itself. Okay. Ooh, making a little bit of boost. Not much. He is in desperate need of a tune. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Bungee cord idea was stupid. Holy shit. So that, that seemed like a good idea at the time. It was very dumb. I don't see any leaks. That's good. I spilled oil on the manifold. That's what it is. Oh, should we, we should really should not do that. We're still testing stuff out. That would be very stupid. Oh, we built boost. Oh, did you hear the turbo? This is gonna be a fun car. <laughs> Let's go see what the uh, temperature looks like. I think it's still nice. Uh, it's not super nice, but it's nice enough. Take her for a round, at least go around the block a little bit, get it on the road. Okay, it's cold. It's really cold, but we got our tripod. We got the GoPro. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take it down to the parking lot. Do some driving in the parking lot, maybe. It's probably still gonna be cold, but we're gonna find out. makes me happy every time. Need mirrors. Still gonna fix the seat. Way too tall. Way too tall. Oh, it's cold. Man, it's cold. I also, I took the microphone off because last time I had it running, it was picking up the exhaust too much. Apologize if it sounds like shit, but I promise it's better than when I had the mic on me. We definitely gotta fix the shocks. Definitely gotta fix the shocks.
All right, we're gonna put the tripod out and uh, maybe drop it and see if it'll scrape. I'm worried it won't without shocks because the shocks actually hold it down, but we'll see. Let's see what happens. Makes me happy every time. Still need to fix my chair. Way too high. Also, I need mirrors. Look at that. Look at that 50 over there. Looks good.
So I can already tell, since I don't have a windshield, all the water on that hood is gonna go on me, which is fucking annoying. Look at this thing. I pulled over here to take some pictures. I've had two people stop. <laughs> it seems like everybody just stops in this parking lot. I need to I need to figure out a better spot. But I mean, look at it. I've just been staring at it for like the last 10 minutes. Really looks good. My taillight gasket should be in here this week too, so I'm excited to get my lights in. But I mean, check it out. She looks good. She really looks good. I love the way that flows. Just whoosh, everything just falling out the back. You guys know me. I like to chop everything, but man, the factory fleet line roof just looks bitching. It could be a little shorter. I'm not gonna lie to you, but <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna do it. Looks good, man. It's a tail dragger, baby. cool all right i'm gonna go put her up i'm waiting on parts i want to get the taillight lenses in and then i want to wire the headlights and taillights and i want to come down here and shoot some sparks one night because i i was driving the other day you know with the it's got titanium blocks if you don't know and i was doing spark runs basically you lay the <laughs> you lay the ass in all the way to the ground and then you drive and it drags the titanium and they have like a white spark and during the day it just wasn't very impressive also i think i need to adjust the blocks a little bit but i want to come down here when my lights are working at night and just start throwing some sparks but uh waiting on parts right now so all right i'm going back man she's cool <laughs> I had a company reach out. They said, hey, we noticed whenever we're watching your videos, certain places in your shop are very dark on camera. We are Hyperlight. We sell LED specifically for shops and garages, and we'd love to hook you up. I said, sure. They sent me some, and check this out. Boom, check that out. I actually had to learn how to tone down the lights a little bit on my camera because when I first got these all installed, for the first couple days of recording, I actually just looked like a snowman. It was just pure white. But uh, thank you very much to Hyperlight. I am very, very impressed. I only have four of them in here and I actually don't even need my neon lights on. I could actually take those down the way I have them in the shop. I'm probably gonna take two down to my other shop because they're just so bright. I absolutely love them. This is a smaller shop compared to my other shop. But uh, thank you very much, Hyperlight. I am super, super impressed. You can just run a regular extension cord to it or you can actually wire it in with your lights. I will leave my link in the description of this video. So if you wanna check them out, buy them yourself. Thank you guys very much for watching. Let me know if you like these type of videos where it's kind of an unedited, a little bit longer, a little less polished. If you like these type of videos, because we can certainly do more of them, then just give me feedback on it and I'll go from there. Also, big thanks to Hyperlight Shop Lights. Uh, like I said, I have four of these in my shop and it's basically like daytime in here now. It has really helped the quality of my videos. So I'll put the link in the description of this video to those shop lights. You can get a little bit of a discount if you go through my link. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff I tell you at the end of videos and check out some more of my other videos. Peace!